Hey everyone, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones as my custom old sentinel. We're now playing as King Luke, King of the Iron Throne, uh, after our mother was slain in personal combat. But yeah, uh, as you can see, I've been going forward a little bit. We basically just cleaned up all of these occupations. We're at 100% now, so we can offer peace uh, to our uncle, Dobber Grace. We'll do that, and that will end all of our wars for now. Very good. We can stand down our forces, but we'll wait. We'll wait until everyone comes back under our control, which should be very soon. And then there's tons of things that we need to deal with. So many things until next time. And it's just yeah, too much. There's too much going on. Um, and yeah, right now, Felina Eagleman has actually just died, which ends House Eaglemont. Now, they have not really done much because Raymond Eaglemont, who was the first one, because Riga uh, doesn't really count, he um, he left uh, House Sentinel in order to, uh, well, serve House Malister. And they have served House Malister ever since. And now uh, she died at the court of Lady Gianna the Quiet. So there goes one of our new custom, or one of one of the custom houses that was, uh, that was here for quite a long time. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll decide a, a new council that, that we will do. What about the Lannisters? What are you up to? Now, as you can see, Lord Paramount Durham has now inherited. His father is still there. I don't know why he had to abdicate, but perhaps a faction. Anyways, though, he is betrothed to my sister, uh, and he's still fighting a peasant revolt. Now, that's obviously a little bit annoying, but we will stand down our forces. Nonetheless, the Lannisters will be back into the fold, uh, or will come back into the fold uh, at some point. But yeah, that's the Iron Throne. We have a couple, <laughs> excuse me, a couple of things that, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me guys, a couple of things that we need to do, um, and uh, mostly we need to give out some titles. And um, now obviously I'm going to hold on to King's Landing as that's my capital. We'll also hold on to Mark's End as well as Seagat for now until I really have decided what I'm going to do with. I'm hoping for a second son or maybe a second or third son that I can give these castles to simply because they're so good and we've been with them. You know, this is where we're, we're from. Uh, I, I feel like I, I want to give that to only uh, Sentinels. Uh, definitely Mark's End. Not too sure about Seaguard, but I've invested so much into this, I'm going to be kind of greedy and want to give that to my personal, uh, to my own dynasty. But yeah, uh, a couple of other things I want to obviously do. First of all, I've decided to give the biggest prize to Sir Merrick Bane. Now, what has he done to deserve this? Honestly, he didn't do much. Uh, he was appointed by uh, Baryon Loxley to uh, be the lord of, of Old Stones at that time. Just a colony, a very big colony, but truly just a colony. However, he, uh, he was an honorable man, he did his duty as treasurer, um, and uh, he, he spent a lot of his own coin uh, on, on that colony without really muttering. He, he, was, he, he, he did that for us, and we took away that castle from him. And that was wrong. Now, my mother has repeated that debt, um, but still, I feel like we also need to give him and his family a new home. And uh, this is the biggest prize that I can give out. That will be the Lordship of Tarth. And I have decided I'm going to give that to him uh, for several reasons. Now, first off, he's a Stormlander, and so are his two sons and all of his other kids. He has plenty of heirs, so this is not going to, you know, go back to someone else. And there are no... There are, no, um, there are no claimants left that I want to give these castles rather to. There's a maester of House Grey, there's a daughter of House Grey, but she's almost past childbearing age, and there's two Grey Kingslanders. And uh, I don't see why I should make House Grey stronger, um, because obviously our uncle has just, uh, well, risen up against us. So there's no reason to do this. Also, if we have a look at the history, ever since um, House Tarth lost it, uh, well, except for a brief, uh, well, the, my, my, actually my great-grandmother, but uh, except for this one Lannister lady, it was always in the possession of House Grey, so we can give it to anyone. Um, so therefore, I will give it to Merrick Bane, uh, as he, he does deserve it. He's been through so many hardships, um, so there you go. So Lordship of Tarth, and I will also include uh, the High Lordship of the Straits of Tarth. So there you go, a very, very big prize Indeed, uh, very big prize indeed. But um, I might, I might call upon your son to join my king's guard if needs be. Um, but yeah, we'll, we shall see. So this is the first one. Uh, then I've also decided 
to grant the landed title. We have two more castles that I want to give out. We have the castle of Swinbank as well as Rayonne. So Rayonne is the capital here. Then we have Swinbank. And Swinbank, I want to give to Jory Broom. Now, why do I want to give it to Jory Broom? The castle itself is not really worth much, to be to be honest. The castle has basically nothing. But um, giving that castle to Jory Broom. Uh, who was the bastard son of Robin Lovegood, will make it possible for me to uh, legitimize him, and then House Lovegood will have a chance to rule, so uh, or to, to flourish, I guess. So uh, there we go, we're going to give him the Castle of Swinebank. It's not really worth much, um, but House Lovegood has not really had the, well, chance to, to do anything. So there you go, Castle of Swinebank goes to you, and I think I'm able to... I think you're gonna ask me to legitimize you. I'm pretty sure of that. You have a sibling, um, but that's how it's worth. Yeah, okay. Um, so that's one thing. And then last but not least, the castle of Rayonet. I have decided to bestow upon House Bell. And House Bell because there, uh, if I can find them, so many people. Um, <laughs> there, Malado Bell. Now, because they're, um, their father, or their, their founder of their house, Sir Mark Bell, was slain by Kendall when he tried to defend my mother. Now, he failed, but he still fought valiantly, so therefore, I feel like it's, uh, it's only the right thing to bestow lands upon his house. And I guess we're going to give it to his firstborn bastard, uh, simply because his, his trueborn son is only one years old. So we're going to give it to his bastard, and I think that uh, will be fine. He's going to ask for... Um, Legitimization as well will grant that, of course. Uh, so this is basically the Lordship of Bastards now, which is totally fine. Um, but we're also going to have to make sure that you will have control over this. Now this is necessary. So we'll transfer vassalage um, of this to you. There you go. And anyone else? Uh, transfer vassalage. Um, no. Okay, that's fine. So there's a couple. There's there's tons of things we need to do. As you can see, there there. The, the stormlands are just a mess. Uh, well, Old Town is not as messy, but still we're gonna have to fix the reach as well. And a couple of other provinces, or a couple of other regions as well, especially the Vale. Um, but yeah, those are the things I need to do, and also we have tons of new, uh, I guess, well, titles that we can give out. Um, and I'm gonna have to revoke some of them, I guess. We have, for example, we have two cupbearers. It doesn't really make much sense. We have two high almoners. So I'm gonna have to revoke one and leave the other or, or something. Two mass of horses. Yeah, that's that's kind of strange. So, so we'll have to see uh, what we do exactly. Um, but I'm probably gonna do that off camera. So I'll, I'll go cut away in a second. But before that, I wanna see if I can appoint Time and Wheelstone as commander of the Gold Cloaks. Uh, is that possible? Yes, he does hold City of King's Landing. Very good. So House Weirstone now also holds a, well, a, a holding or a fief of their own, although it's just the City of King's Landing. Uh, they're not going to inherit it, but still, uh, they will stay around or stick around for long enough so that I uh, can maybe give them lands later on. And they can actually prove their worth. But yeah. So those are the titles I have given out so far, and those are all the titles I mean to give out at the moment, the rest I will hold on to. And um, yeah, now as I said, I'm gonna go off camera, and uh, I will fix my realm, and I will also invite some new custom couriers, you have plenty of people suggested, and they will uh, fill the uh, various roles of my court. So I'll see you guys in a second. So welcome back guys, um, I have tried and uh, tried to fix my realm, but it's still extremely messy. Now, all of the kings before have done, I don't know what they have done, but we have the north here in the crown lands, they even hold Dragonstone, Cracklap Point, and look, the Kingswood has stuff in the Reach, the Reach holds parts of Dawn, uh, we have the Vale here, the Riverlands, we have the Reach in the Vale, the north here as well, it, it's crazy, crazy stuff happening, but uh, we'll be able to deal with that I in time, I think. Uh, there's still civil going on in the Stormlands, and obviously the, the, the Westerlands have some minor war going on as well, but we'll be, we'll be able to deal with this in time. Look at this, even the Riverlands, the Riverlands hold parts of the Storm, uh, the Westerlands, the Westerlands hold part of the Riverlands, but you know what, as I said, we're, we're going to be able to deal with this. Uh, before we go ahead though, 
there's a couple more appointments I need to make and a couple new houses that uh, I want to introduce to you guys. But yeah, let's uh, let's start with the most important thing, and that is a new Hand of the King. Now, right now, we actually have Lord Ricasso of the Princess Pass, but, uh, you know, first of all, I don't know this guy. Second, he's not particularly good. And thirdly, I have a reason to imprison him. So all of, all of this together just doesn't make him, you know, a good candidate to be Hand of the King. So instead, I will appoint Ceseres Loxley as my Hand of the King. He's an excellent steward, and he's also a pretty decent diplomat, so I feel like he would make an excellent Hand of the King, and he has been our uh, castellan for a long time, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go, Lord Loxley, you will be my Hand of the King, and I will make you oversee Hmm, now I guess I'm actually going to make you oversee Seaguard. Yeah, you know what? That's that's a good idea. As Master of Laws, I'm going to po going to appoint the High Septon uh, because then we will have Divine, um, I don't know, in Intervention? No, but we'll have Divine Support, I guess. And we're going to have to uh, see who hates, who of our vassals hates us the most. We'll have to try and uh, improve relations. Now, uh, this guy I don't care about. The Kingswood. Now that is somewhat important. So I think we're gonna improve relations with the Kingswood, uh, as they are uh, parts of the Crown Lands. The Iron Islands, I cannot really do any anything about. As he's gonna be pissed because he had to uh, bend the knee. Uh, there's not much that's going to happen. But oh well. Um, yeah, that's been going on. Also, uh, we need to appoint. We need to appoint a couple of minor titles. Um, we'll give a couple of minor titles. Uh, so let's start with the Keep of the Swans. I have decided to name the Lady Paramount Jereen of the Vale as my Keeper of Swans. I've also decided to give out three of these titles to new houses. So first off, we're going to give the title of the Paramount, Na Ma Na Paramount Knight, holy balls, to Benedict of the Broken Stick. Uh, so how's... House Broken Stick has now joined uh, us. Look at him. So Benedict, he's a pretty good fighter. He's a knight, obviously. Very ambitious man, but also brave and humble. Um, so he's going to be the the paramount knight. One of our most uh, chivalrous uh, person, uh, I guess. Uh, then, uh, as King's Justice, I've decided to appoint Luthion of House Fleetwood. So House Fleetwood has joined us. They have uh, a sigil, a blue background, and a yellow small bird. Uh, this man is not really quite the fighter, but he is a great eminence, which is technically also important for King's Justice. But he is also a brave man, and I think he will be strong enough to wield a big sword. Uh, and then, uh, last but not least, as Captain of the Household Guard, I've decided to appoint um, Durin Theodosius. Now, uh, House Theodosius has an eagle as their sigil, very close to the uh, coat of arms of House Malister, but different yet as they have different colors. Uh, a captain of the House of God is obviously a very good fighter. He's also a brave man, very zealous as well, uh, and ambitious. But um, yeah, I think he'll do uh, he'll do a good job uh, as well. Okay, now I think for Luthion, I have not found a wife just yet. So let's see who we can find. A couple of banging girls, but I think I will instead go with, hmm, with whom? A Glenmore, a Flint. Now these are all northerners. Maybe I can find you a good Westerlander girl. Uh, Vailman, Reachman, Stormlet, Westerman, Melissa. She's 40 though. That's a bit old. Um, yeah, I wanted to do that, but I'm pretty sure I forgot this. Tyria, Curie of Greyguard. Um, how about, yeah, this is a good marriage. All right, there you go. Uh, so the marriages will come in. Um, and yeah, there we are. So uh, as I said, I've uh, established a household guard that costs a little bit of money. Um, some of our kids are unhappy. Uh, Prince Dauber, of course. Yes, of course he's unhappy. Well, what do you think? You tried to take away my crown. So why would you think I would give you any stuff? Uh, Lord Ronald is also unhappy. Yep, oh, I see. Um... But uh, there we are. There we go. No nothing I can do. We can marry Jane Sentinel and elope Paramount of the West. We will obviously do that. There you go. And that should give us an alliance um, with the West as well as the Reach. I think we do have a pact at least. Can we? Can we? I don't know. Maybe we don't. But yeah, we do have we do have a non-aggression pact here. So that's very good. That's all that I really wanted. Hopefully they will accept our marriage. We can hold a tournament, which we might want to do. And we can call my uncle for trial. And I think we will do that as well. Um, but first, I don't think I'm going to be imprisoning any of these people. A lot of 
Our vassals are actually quite pissed because we have our men raised, or we had our men raised for a long time, but that's fine. Uh, now let's actually go ahead, and I probably should have sent my Septon to convert the Lord of Duskendale, but uh, okay, we'll do that next time, I guess. Uh, we have quite some money stored up, uh, lovely. Um, the This marriage has come through, okay, so my sister is now married to Lord of Lannister. Then we have a captain of the household guard married to this lady, okay. And then we have Luthien Fleetwood married to Tyria of Greyguard. Okay, good. Um, wait, does the, does the wall man all of this? Oh, look at this. Sentinel Stand. Florian of Sentinel Stand. Now, how Sentinel, uh, as, as, as Mark, I actually wanted to pay for the for rebuilding Sentinel Stand, um, but apparently that has been done. All of the castles of the Night's Watch have been restored. That's pretty amazing. So Sentinel Stand is a small Night's Watch castle. Very cool. Very cool. But anyways, um, that's just a random side note here that doesn't really affect affect us. Uh, okay, so everyone, you should have a wife as well. You do not. You do not have a wife. I think I married you to Phallus Harlaw. But she has not accepted yet, I think. Um, okay, we shall see. I think I'm going to wait until the end of the month. Or maybe I'm going to try this again. Yeah, the Harlock girl. Yes, you should You should accept that. Um, and there's a tournament. Uh, we'll obviously attend that tournament right now. Uh, this war should be over soon so that the Lannisters will be back on our control. 100%, yes. Awesome. So far they have not, there they have accepted. Good, so all of the new houses are married off as well. Um, awesome. Now, there's two more things I wanna talk about because there are two houses that have apparently, that I have apparently not given any titles to even though they have been around much longer. Uh, and those are House Drajon and House Frederick, but we'll talk about them after we've checked this out. Okay, so my wife, the Queen Ally, is pregnant once again, very nice. And, um, yeah, so those those houses, House Dragion, as well as House, uh, well, Frederick. Now, House Dragion, I've actually given the city of Silkstone, but they also hold the uh, castle of Cape Kraken. I don't know how they've done this, how they've managed to get this, but House Dragion holds the castle of Cape Kraken, and House Frederick actually holds the castle of Old Anchor. So there you go, there is House Frederick, and I believe a member of House Frederick is also married, matrilineal of course, but still married to the Lady Paramount of the Vale, and he actually holds the Stone Keep. So that's very good for them. Uh, he also has some Valyrian features, don't know how that happened, but uh, because of that, I do not want to give them any more lands, as I think they have enough. But yeah, uh, the Westerlands will be back in the fold soon enough, I'm sure. Look at this, a thousand new men. Uh, raised for you, uh, but you are probably going to lose your civil war. Uh, anyways, it doesn't really matter too much. We have arrived at the uh, Faring Cross so that we can uh, join this tournament. And um, okay, there he is, Tyron. Oh, that's actually a Lannister. Yeah, but still, you shall be legitimized. I was wondering. Um, well, I am still wondering why you have not asked to be legitimized just yet. Um, but there must be a reason, I'm very sure. Joey Brune, you have also not asked to be legitimized, but maybe that will come soon. Um, okay, so we have been... Oh, drawn against one of our own Kingsguard. Well, we'll see how that goes. I don't think we're a particularly good fighter anyways. Um, no, we have dual skill of four, so yeah, uh, we are probably not gonna do too well. Yeah, we've been knocked off our horse, but that's fine, there's always next time. And uh, we, are, we don't really care about this all too much anyways. Now one thing that we need to do is actually repay our loan. We have, during this war, we have taken a loan of 750 gold. So let's repay that immediately. We don't really have much money left, but look how much we're making every month. That's amazing. Uh, also, I think it's time that, yeah, we should do a couple more things. We should go ahead and choose our patron aspect. So let's have a quick look. Now we are a kind man. A diligent. We're not particularly just. I think as a kind man, we would probably go with the Mother's Mercy. I think we would go with the Mother's Mercy. Yeah. Uh, even though that may not be what uh, what you... We should probably go for the Warrior or the Father's Justice, but I think we're going to go for the Mother. We're going to gain extra diplomacy um, and we'll get less learning, but that's okay. And uh, last but not least, I think we should call these two people for trial. Now, this guy... He was simply 
he was fighting, he was actually captured by my mother. But my uncle, he needs to be called for a trial. So there we go, we'll do this, and uh, we'll see how things go. So, uh, he has demanded a trial by combat. Oh, and he's summoning his champion to King's Landing. Well, that can be very interesting, but um, we'll see how that uh, turns out in the next episode. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching so far. I hope you have enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.